All right, so I'm gonna try to try to make my own smoker out of this glass jar right here. Um, I've seen these made online. I'm gonna try to do one my way, see if it works. Um, I have a leak in one of my cars, so I'm gonna try to see where the leak is coming from, where the leak is at, and try to isolate it with this. The idea behind this is you wanna try to fill this up with mineral spirits or baby oil. Got some here. Like some baby oil, whatever. Baby oil will work fine. And um, and then fill fill this in. Put this uh, put a cloth in here or something. Maybe like a cotton sock in here or something. And then uh, drill a hole in the middle here, right? Big enough so that this wand. Pull this out for a second. So that this soldering iron can fit in through here, like this right here, right? And the idea is that this wand here, once it heats up, it's going to heat up the, um, the cotton cloth with the uh, mineral spirits and it's going to create a lot of smoke, right? So I'm going to drill two smaller holes on this side here, one here and one here. This is going to be the holes that's going to go in through here. This is the holes that's going to go into whichever spot I choose to uh, do my um, leak down test, right? To see where the leak is coming from, where the vacuum leak is coming from. Um, obviously I'm going to JB weld it top and on the bottom and I'm going to drill another hole here where this one, this part here or the top of this, these are pins by the way. Uh, so I'm going to put the top of this pin here, drill a hole. You can see it's got a ridge right here. So it's going to prevent it from going down any further. And that'll be big enough so that I can put my, um, my air blaster. It'll go on there perfectly and it'll blow the smoke out through here. And it'll pull it out through here through the hose in here the hose is going to come out through here and the smoke is going to come out through here and it's going to go into my engine and that's what that's going to determine where my leak is coming from so hopefully ho hopefully it'll come out all right i don't see why it shouldn't everyone else is doing it the same way like i said i'm just using different products so fingers crossed let me see how how it comes out you got to use one of these step step drill bits here too all right, so I'm going to get popping on this and see what happens. All right, so this is what I was going for. I got a, I have to epoxy all this right here. It's kind of probably get a light quarter of epoxy underneath here. And, um, but this is what I was going for. This is the two, this is where, um, these two right here is going to fit in this right here. It's gonna go into the car and then right here I'm gonna pop this little top off here this is where the uh, air blaster is gonna go in that's gonna push the air down through here and it's gonna go up through this tube right here I don't know if the camera can make up on it again this body right here this is just a pen body it goes down in there because you want to keep it away from the uh, uh, from the heating element here on the uh, on the soldering iron here so um, so I'm gonna epoxy all this down I'm gonna mix up uh, mix up a batcher and um, get this um glued on here the top is not critical because the bottom here it's not critical so you, you can see right here so all this down here is going to be epoxy and i might i'm not sure yet i might throw some silicone around this here too some rtv or something like that all right so i got everything epoxied up already you can see right here Yeah, don't worry about the epoxy on the uh, heating element here. Once that thing hardens up, it's not even, it's not gonna affect it or anything like that. Plus, I'm also gonna throw some epoxy in the bottom here, which it doesn't need it anyways. This is this is suffice right here. So this is gonna be the the tube that's gonna blow the air in. This is the tube that's gonna blow the air out. It's gonna come down through here. So I'll let this set here overnight. I'll come back tomorrow or something like that. I'll try to stop by tomorrow. Tomorrow's Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all the beautiful mothers out there who sacrificed everything for us. You know, it is what it is. Um, so yeah, I'll come back to this tomorrow. Hopefully this will settle up. It takes about five hours for it to set. About another 24 hours to cure. But I'm not going to use this. I'll probably use this on Monday. So this will be all set for tomorrow. Or for Monday. So I'm gonna ride with the way it came out. All right, so I got this party put in already. 
see the tools up here this this is the tool where the uh, blaster is going to go in this is the part that this tool right here is the one that's going to go into the car you see the bottom here how how it's epoxied already it's jb welded it doesn't look pretty but it works you're not looking for it to be beautiful you're looking for it to be functional close is right like i mentioned earlier i'm debating whether i'm gonna throw some rtv sealant under here some um silicone or something like that some gasket sealant or something i might do it i'm not really sure but anyway this part is done there's no really no need to do the top here because the bottom is already sealed um then you want to get yourself a um 100 cotton this is an old t-shirt rag that i had this is gonna then you're gonna take this baby oil right here I use this in substitute of mineral spirits. I don't I didn't have any on hand right now. So this is the same thing, it'll work just fine. And what you want to do is you want to coat this right here, completely drench it in the um, in the in the baby oil. And what this is gonna do is gonna serve as a wick, like the kind of wick you will find in your um, camping lanterns or anything like that. And it's gonna sit inside here. Then you're just gonna finish pouring the rest of it in here in the bottom. This this might be a little too much i might have to cut this down a little bit make it a little smaller but you get the idea it's gonna it's gonna mimic a um a lantern or something it's gonna be some oil in the bottom and then it's just gonna wake up this right here and the idea is when i put the um when i put back the uh the heating element back in it's gonna make contact with this and it's gonna create smoke all right so using a 100 percent cotton rag I used um, one of my old t-shirts here. This is 100% cotton. You just wanna drench it in baby oil. Let it soak in and then pour some on the bottom here. You can see how much you used. You didn't use a lot of the bottle here. Excuse me. So I'm gonna throw some more in here. And um, you just wanna let it coat. Let it get in there. So what's gonna happen with this piece is when it gets on there, so he's gonna make contact with it. And then the heating element in here is gonna heat up the oil. The oil is gonna keep the rack from burning. Again, just like your wick in your, um, in your um, la standard lantern, kerosene lantern. And it's gonna create the smoke. So I'm gonna let this soak in for a while. I'll, come, I'll probably come back later on or something, or maybe tomorrow or something, finish it off. All right, so this piece is done. You can see the oil inside burning. The baby, oil, the baby oil, the mineral spirits, whatever you like to use. This is the hose right here that I'm gonna use. Now you can either blow in through this with your mouth or use an air compressor using, I don't know, maybe like two or three pounds of air. And you can see all the smoke that's gonna come out. I'm gonna just finish it off. All right, so this is gonna allow me to find whatever evap leak I have in my car or vacuum leak. You can use this for any other car. It's a simple build. You probably have this in your house. This is a Prego. This is the body of a pen. The body, the, the top. Probably the most expensive part you have here is the um, soldering iron, which you can pick up at Harbor Freight for like nine bucks or something like that, eight bucks. And you have, have yourself a simple leak detector that you can use at any time. Now, if the bottle breaks, you can always replace it with another bottle. Just keep the lid here. Alright, so I hope this helps someone out. Shouldn't be that hard to build. Alright, so uh, once I find the uh, leak in my car, I'll post up a vid while I'm using it to see if it, if it did help me find the leak in my car. Because it's, it is going to be an involved process. I'm going to have to get underneath the car, find out where the canister is to my particular car and tap into other places where I can find the vacuum leak if that's what it is. But I'll post another vid once I get to that point and uh, we'll take it from there.